is as Toyo C and my name is Toyo C Phillips. Welcome to Astoria Seas. My name is Toyo C. Phillips. Astoria Seas is a talk show that addresses a variety of social issues. So from the serious to the amusing, the sad, and even the controversial, my guests and I will speak on these issues and share candid experiences that have shaped how we see things. So it's time for me to introduce my guest of the day, and it is none other than the lovely budding stage and screen actress, Oludara Egatin Shingo. Welcome to the show, Oludara. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. A little background on Uludara. She was recently in a notable stage play called Single in Gidi and she performed amazingly, if there's a word like that. And she's also been in a multiple of TV series, web shows, movies, some yet to be released. But before all this, she worked in the Treasury Department of one of Nigeria's foremost banks. And that's why we're here today. We're going to be talking about that career switch. Uludara. A lot of millennials, a lot of people in this generation are switching careers, moving from a lucrative nine to five mm -hmm. to following their dreams in court. Why do you think this is becoming very rampant? I guess um, now that people see that it's not necessarily a bad thing to follow your dream. Everybody before was so concerned about how much we earn, being able to um, survive by making like a lucrative salary but now i think people are more concerned with how they genuinely feel because what's the point of making a big salary and you're not happy so i think that a lot of people are now leaning towards their own happiness more than how much money they'll be making but our parents did not our parents did not leave their jobs so our parents stayed there and but were they happy or did they do good? but they fed us <laughs> <laughs> And we're so thankful for that. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. <laughs> but the thing is, that's not how you want to live life. You don't want to live life question. I don't know about a parents, so, but I know that there are a lot of people that you don't want to live life thinking. At least I know that I didn't want to live life thinking, why didn't I do that? Why didn't I try? Like, at least try is, is how I felt. Like, even if it doesn't work out, even if you find out that maybe that's not what you should be doing, at least give it a try. Okay, so I spoke to someone's mom recently and she was just frustrated like her son wants to leave his good accounting job. Accounting. <laughs> wants to leave Proper that job. good job yeah. for uncertainty. Yeah. And she's scared because there's another person like that, like her son's friend, who in her opinion hasn't done anything in a long time. What would you say to a parent like that? Because her concerns are valid, to be honest. Of course, but like I say to my dad, because his concerns are valid until tomorrow. Like he's seen me do work, he's watched my plays, but there are days he says, "So, Ishenko, <laughs> <laughs> like, won't you still get a proper job?" But it's just like you need to trust. Like your kids are adults now. Just trust that they know what they are doing. You know, like let them be. Like, do you want your son to be unhappy? Like before I quit my job, I was having headaches that we did not know what the source was like I was having blackouts I was having to be flown to for checkups but they didn't know what it was there was nothing physically wrong with me but now I see that it was just because I wasn't happy doing what I was doing regardless of how safe and how good it was right um, so you know how there's NYSC that mandates us to serve our country in your opinion do you think people should be mandated to work for I don't know a number of years a period of years before they now take a leap the leap of faith just to get some stability and some sort of i don't know understanding of how things work okay so this stability you work in a bank and they wake up one morning and sack 200 people where's the stability in that let's be honest like it's it is a safe job but it is not it's not your business like they can wake up tomorrow and say they don't need your services again so where's that stability i have no problem with nyc but <laughs> um if if the if that if you're gonna do your NYC and this push, it's one year of service. Do that. I did one year of service and two years of working in a bank um, because I was in a bond. But um, it helped me. I'm glad that I did it. 
but it's, a part of me is also a little sad that I started acting later. In my acting class, I was like the youngest, I was the oldest person, and that kind of made me feel some kind of way. But that being said, it's never too late to start. Okay. So for me, I feel like a lot of kids are hiding under the guise of creativity, but what they are really thinking is fast money, especially in the entertainment industry, thanks to Whiskey. Every guy thinks he can just go into the studio and record one song and then just blow all of that. How do we curb that mentality and how do we deal with that? Honestly, I think that I feel like these people will find out. They will know that before Whiskey start blew, <laughs> they, they should ask him how long it took him to blow. Like we don't see what the work that is being done under. Like even me, I'm still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm still waiting to blow. But there's so much work that, that is done behind the scene that you almost get no pay for. A lot of work, like when you're paying your dues. Mm -hmm. I guess that after a while, and that, I think that is it's that process that weeds people out. When you see that after one year, two years, nothing is happening. Uh, after back. a while, you go back and just got me your boss like, oh, how, about that, how about that post? <laughs> Yeah, so. Okay, but do you think you can swallow your pride? God forbid, I pray that you're successful, all of that, but do you think it's something you'll be able to do to swallow your pride to go back to an old employer to say, please, I'm, I'm so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I wouldn't even lie, there are days that I've been tempted to because, like, the difference in the earnings is quite deep. But, like, as you said, I was working in Treasury, I was working on, on the most profitable desk in the bank. Right. So, you know, walking away from that. Mm. There are days that I miss the money, I won't even lie, but I'm happy, I'm, I'm doing what I enjoy, what I love, so. Okay, yeah. okay. We have to go on a short break now. When we come back, we'll be sharing or hearing Oludara's personal story. Stay tuned. Coming up on Astoria Seas. I literally still hear it was like when I'm going through a tough time. I literally can hear my mother's voice saying, you can do this. I'm proud of you, you know. And those things help. Take a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Astoria Seas. I'm speaking with Oludara Egatin Shingol about that career switch. So Oludara, what's your story? Why did you leave banking for acting? <sighs> I mean, since I was a little girl, I've always wanted to be an actress. But every time I said that in the house, I was just like, mm -hmm, that's not going to happen. You're too smart. So even from high school, they made sure that I did. I went to science class because I was very book smart. Um, uni, I studied computer science and information technology. And then I went to training school for the bank that I work with. I topped their training school and then I got posted to treasury. I was doing well, but I was so, after like the first couple of months, um, I was very unhappy. I, there was something wrong. I wasn't <laughs> sure what it was, but there was something wrong. And then at work, sorry boss, I used to check the websites for different acting schools. And then one day I just decided, okay, I'm going to tell my dad that I wanted to go to acting school. Um, that day didn't come for a long time. But thankfully, and I say thankfully because, because of it, I was able to go to acting school eventually. I started falling ill. There were these headaches, like I said before. That I, had, I was having a series of headaches and they, could, they weren't sure what was Where wrong. Was coming yeah. from. Um, and two, two years prior to that, I had lost my mom. So my dad was very worried about any illness. So I guess he, he didn't want to risk it. So he said, look, this acting thing, do you really want to do it? And I'm like, yeah. And he said, okay, we'll do a trial two months. You go for the eight week class at um at the New York, he said that would go for the eight-week class at the New York Film Academy, and I did that. And yeah, it was really, it was really <laughs> good. Came home, we had a conversation for three months with like my siblings and my dad. Like, okay, this is something that I genuinely want to do. So God provided funds, and I was able to go back for the one year. But were you were you angry? Because I mean, if they had seen the talent in you, if they had seen all of that in you. See Beyonce, <laughs> they put her in singing yeah. and dancing school since yeah. she was three and they saw that yes, she can sing and all of that. Were you, was there any time you were upset that, why didn't you get the support that you should have gotten from the beginning? You'd have saved a lot of money on education, stress, on work, all of that. I mean, education is key. Go to school, but all of that. Yeah, um, 
I wasn't angry because I know that as far as they were concerned, they were doing what's best, what was best for me. They saw that I was book smart and they decided, oh, you know, let's secure her future. Let's point her in the right direction. And I know that most parents, this is what they're doing. They're actually trying to do what is best for them. I used to feel mm, less than because I was like the oldest in most of my acting classes. I was like, oh, I wish I started earlier. But then I realized that it's not about when you start. The fact is that you have started now and just walk the journey, just take a day at a time. Okay, so you become a parent and then one day you enter your daughter's room or your son's room and you hear your daughter thinking, well, hi, Ki. All those Mariah Carey, hi, Ki. Are you going to drag out of school and say, oh yeah, start singing? No, I, I definitely will not <laughs> drag her out of school, no. Okay. School is important, like you said. Um, but she would learn every musical instrument. She would go for singing classes, dancing classes and acting, just so she can be a triple threat. In way, I can only act. No, 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 my daughter must sing, act, dance. But not, not, I won't take her away from school. I feel like education is very important. I'm glad that I got an education and I'm glad that I even studied something apart from acting, yes. Yeah. But they, I would make sure that I nurture her talent. So you would nurture that talent? I will, I would definitely. And you not tell her, what are you doing? Like. How can I talk? What, <laughs> what mouth do I want to use to talk? No, definitely not. So I want to take you back to your mom's death because you brought that up. Do you think that played a major role in you deciding, you know what, I want to live my life? My mom passed while I was in training school for the bank that I worked with. And I remember one of our last conversations was the fact that she really wanted me to top, I was like maybe third, and she really wanted me to top the class. So when I started working in the bank, there were days that I would be feeling like I, uh, I hate this thing, I hate this thing. But then I'll just remember how happy it made my mom and then I'll push through, which is one of the reasons I didn't leave before my bond expired. expired, Because I wanted to make her proud. But even after that, I realized that more than anything, she always wanted me to be happy. She always like, she was, all, she was always for if something is not working, find a way to make it work. And I realized that working in the bank was no longer working for me. And I guess like just remembering her words and the things that she said was one of the reasons I realized that I could do this. And her, I literally still hear it was like when I'm going through a tough time, I literally can hear my mother's voice saying, you can do this, I'm proud of you, you know. And those things help, those things really do help. So there was no guilt that okay now that she she has passed I can now I can now do what I want to do or I hope she's happy with me where she is right now. Did those thoughts ever cross your mind? Um, concerning my career. Concerning mm. your career. <laughs> no, I'm saying yeah. Concerning my <laughs> career. No, you know there were tough days while I was in um, New York, and I remember the thoughts that used to cross my mind were. If mommy was here, this won't be happening. If mommy was here and I was crying, I would literally call her and she would be on the next flight. Mm -hmm. So thoughts like that were the things that crossed my mind. Like, my mom is, well, was. <laughs> she was like the most supportive person ever. So I never once thought concerning my career that she would not have been proud of me. Maybe days that I didn't used to comb my hair. Right? <laughs> mommy is side-eyeing you right now, but you know. Okay. okay. All right. We have to go on another break. We'll be back soon with Uluda Regat and Chingle. This is ATS. Coming up on Astoria C. What if it doesn't work out? <laughs> <laughs> I find that I am multi talented. And I find that <laughs> I make, I'm, I would make things work. Something would work out. Something. We're taking a break and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Astoria Seas. I'm still here with Uludara and it's been an interesting conversation so far. We're talking that career switch. So especially when you've moved from one industry to an entirely different one. For you, what has been your biggest fear? What if this thing doesn't work out? Like, it is still my biggest, it's not even past that. It's just like, what if it doesn't work out? There are days that I'm just like, Uludara, I hope you didn't make a mistake. Even though deep down I know that this is what I should be doing, but 
there's those days where you're just like, ooh. Okay, so what if it doesn't work out? <laughs> <laughs> I find that I am multi-talented. And I find that <laughs> I make, I'm, I would make things work. Something would work out. Something. So yeah, he must. <laughs> it will work. It will work. <laughs> but yeah. how do you drown those fears? When those voices come, how do you drown them? Huh. I respond. You respond? <laughs> <laughs> I res yeah, I respond with what my own personal beliefs. I respond with the word of God. I respond with the words that have been spoken over me from like my spiritual mentors concerning this career. So as much as I love to act, um, there were days that I wasn't sure that I should. There, was, there were days of confusion that I wasn't sure that this is what I was supposed to be doing. But then I've had God confirm it not once, not twice, not thrice, that this is where I'm supposed to be. And that alone is, is enough support and it's like yeah we got this so it's a similar question but what's your biggest motivation what keeps you going um my faith and my family mm. those two things my faith because <laughs> i wouldn't be here without it and my family because even when they weren't sure even when i wasn't sure they were like they're like my biggest supporters they're just like yeah you can do it yeah we think you're amazing and then i've been blessed with like the best friends who have become family when I don't believe in myself, they believe in me. And they will call you and remind <laughs> you. And then they will call me and text me. And yeah, friends, faith, family. So, what do you see Oludare got in Shingo in five years? Boom! <laughs> no, seriously. Um, yeah, man. Where I see myself in five years scares me. Right. And I'm really hoping I don't do anything to jeopardize it. But yeah, it's. I know that is not a small stuff. <laughs> We're going far. Um, yeah, but I see I see greatness that even scares me. Right. That's the simplest way to put it. All right, so final word for those people who want to make the switch. And there's a lot of them now. Yeah. What would you advise? Do it. The thing you're afraid of, you're bigger than it. You know, like, you're your biggest obstacle. Like, do it. You don't have to do it at once. Like I jumped, like I quit my job when I went to school. But even while you're still in the job, you can find a little ways. If you're like, if like me, I'm just gonna use myself as an example. If you're say a banker who wants to be an actress, on weekends, do a web series, look out for auditions, go out and audition, read about it. Don't just think about it. Like take tiny steps, no matter how small, towards doing what you wanna do. Mm -hmm. so inspiring. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it'll be worth it. And though there are days that you would doubt, but if it makes you happier, if it makes you lighter, do it. Right. And okay. Baba J. Really, I'm not even sorry, but that's just place it in his hands. He's got your back. I mean, he has mine, so. Please, this girl's about to make me cry. We have to go on a short break now. When we come back, you'll get my final thoughts. Welcome back to Astoyo Seas. And like I say, it would not be Astoyo Seas if you don't know what Toyo is saying. So these are my final thoughts on switching industries and moving from one, one career path to another. I'd say do your research because I'm very big on research. Like know what is going on in that field, know what is going on in that space. Don't just go there and think, okay, I'll wing it. I feel like you should take your time, understand what they do there, understand where to start, and don't be afraid to start small. Especially the young girls and guys who just want to blow. Like everything is all about money now. You just want to be big. You just want to blow. Start small. Do not despise the day of humble beginnings. That's what the good book says. And yeah, take your dreams very serious. Like if you feel like something is not making you happy, please, by all means, walk away from it. But walk away with wisdom. Okay, that's, that's my advice for today. Thank you so much for being on the show, Ludara. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you guys for watching. Stay engaged with the show by following us on social media at AstoyoSis on Twitter and Instagram. Make someone's life better today. See you next time. Bye. This is 
is Astoria C and my name is Toyosi Phillips. Thank you for watching.